there is one thing the Vespa soldiers should be aware of is that the plutonium has the ability to discharge energy emission at an atomic ratio that is infinitively unexpected for the plutonium isn't going down that easy even if he is captured and subjugated and he will go down fighting. On the flip side, the Vespa soldiers were prepared for the plutonium for no matter how much the plutonium tried to strike at the Vespa soldiers, his shots were being deflected with the use of energy field controlled by teleportation in which Qubit realized that the Vespa soldiers had improved and upgraded his teleportation device, the Hornet, bagging with them. And as much as Qubit was impressed, he was also disappointed that the Vespa soldiers had weaponized the quantum jumper for Qubit is a pacifist. Now, Modius whom inhabits a burnt faced samsara encountered Modius android and binary encounter, nurturing a comatose Skylar. Within a blink of an eye, binary encounter took out a packet binary Modius out of the body of samsara and allowed a packet binary Modius to inhabit Modius android, in which he took full control. While the Vespa soldiers were attacking the Plutonian from all sides like he is some kind of wild beast, Qubit decided to communicate with the commander or the captain of the Vespa soldiers. At first, they couldn't understand each other's verbatim. In his geniosity, Qubit created a communicating device which helped in getting through to the commander of the Vespa soldiers communicatively whom told Qubit that they were not here for Ethlings, except one, which is the Plutonian. So Qubit asked a very important question, which is, when the Plutonian had been apprehended by them, will they take advantage and turn on Earth? Immediately and repetitively, the Vespa soldiers replied that they are beings of honor, that as much as they are invaders of planets, their honor is more important to them, for their deal with the Hornets is sealed and stamped. Then Qubit warned them that he hopes they have a better plan in capturing the Plutonian. For the Plutonian is not at this time using one one thousandth of his strength at the moment. For they do not want him in full blast. Which is true as the Plutonian goes supersonic on the Vespa soldiers ripping and tearing through them like tearing through paper. Which shook the ground that the Vespa soldiers were standing on. As Qubit ordered Kaidan to invoke all the spirits of those whom had died at the hands of the Plutonian, whom was ripping the Vespa soldiers to shreds. As our hero survivor used his energy force to pull and restrict the arms of the Plutonian from behind, as Kaidan invoked all the spirits of those whom had died at the hands of the Plutonian to take their revenge on him, as he was stampeded by the spirit of those he had killed, and he was pummeled and beaten down almost to the point of incapacity. Beforehand, the Vespa soldiers, while attacking the Plutonian, had taken a piece of his skin graft in which they cloned and created a straight jacket to withhold the plutonium. At this point, the plutonium was overwhelmed, too weakened to fight back as he was strapped in the straight jacket made from his skin. But the plutonium wasn't having none of it as he ripped the straight jacket to shreds, freed himself from their grip and ran towards the sapphire of Ishwa, picked it up. He remembered what Modius, whom used to inhabit the body of Samsara, told him that by igniting and triggering it, it will undo his atrocities and bring back all those whom had died by his hands for he still believed in this theory. Not knowing what the Plutonian was up to, Qubit told Kaidan and Survivor to take cover. So the Plutonian triggered and ignited the Sapphire of Ishwa, which sparked an electromagnetic spectrum that filled the environment and his surroundings. Lo and behold, all those whom had died at the hands of the Plutonian came back to life. It was like a resurrection, a kind of a biblical rapture. Knowing that they still have the memory of what he had done to them, for he could see the fear in their eyes, he assured them that no harm will ever come to them, for what happened shouldn't have happened in the first place, and promised to make it all right. And if they can just trust him again, and that's all the Plutonian wanted, for people to trust him again, most important to him, for people not to walk on eggshells 
around him. The Plutonian was very happy that by triggering and igniting the sapphire of Ishwa brought back the dead back to life. But I'm sorry, Plutonian, for all this was all in his subconsciousness in which put him in a delirious state of mind for the Plutonian had lost his mind to his own madness as he had been subjugated and sedated by the Vespa soldiers.